Hi, welcome to Acting's Diet in the Kitchen. My name is Ken Daltona. In this week's episode, we're going to go back to Mexican. We're going to make an enchilada sauce. I know I've made an enchilada chicken recipe in the past, but we're going to home make the enchilada sauce this time. And we're going to put that over top of faux Spanish rice. So come along with me and we'll start this making it up. All right, so I've added one and a half tablespoons of oil to the pot and one small onion. We're going to cook these uh, onions up until they're translucent and tender. In this back pot, in this back frying pan, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of oil as well and add some cauliflower, cauliflower that I pre-shredded up in my food processor. It's been minced to look a lot like rice. I did it with the shredding blade as well as the chopping blade at the same time. And we're going to cook this in the back pot until the cauliflower gets dried out and you can, we'll catch back up at that point. See you then guys. Okay, so you can see the onions are getting slightly brown. And I've turned my cauliflower in back to a low heat because I don't need it for quite, quite yet. So I'm, I'm going to add about three cloves of garlic. I'm using minced garlic. To this I'm going to add three tablespoons of chili powder two teaspoons of cumin Two teaspoons of coriander. Half a teaspoon of salt. Give this a good quick mix so the spices can start blooming in the onion and the oils that are in there. start to smell the spices and their essential oils coming off. To this I'm adding a 15 ounce can of Hunt's tomato sauce. Again check for the ones that do not have sugar on the label. There are some out there. Obviously Hunt's is a major name brand. Does not have I'm going to add about a fourth of a cup of water just to thin it out a little bit and further help the spices to mix in. In the back pan, while this is busy um, simmering for the next eight minutes, we're going to start heating up our chicken. The chicken is just taken right off a rotisserie chicken that I got from the local grocery store. And I just broke it up into little pieces to aid in cooking. Alright, and we'll give this, the cauliflower, one quick stir. down that to a low heat and we should be ready in about eight minutes to put it all together and you'll see the finished product. Hey, realized I guess I missed one key ingredient. I need to add uh, three teaspoons of 
Splenda into the mix. Or I'm doing the liquid equivalent. Three drops of liquid Splenda. So, like I said, we'll be waiting for this to finish up in about eight minutes and we should be good to go at that point. Talk to you guys then. Bye. Okay, welcome back. While you guys were gone, I put one cup of the enchilada sauce over top of the cauliflower rice to make it that rich red color that it is now. The sauce has further reduced down to a very thick rich sauce and the chicken in the back pan is fully heated up into um, heated all the way through. So we're going to take one cup of the sauce and layer it over the chicken. turn down the chicken to about a two. We'll simmer for two minutes and we're going to layer, layer on top of a bed of the full Spanish rice. I'll show you the finished product. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.